I think the challenge is that there are lots of different things that you're trying to do when you're a medical student. So you're trying to learn a lot of facts about medicine, but you're also trying to learn a lot of clinical skills. You're trying to learn how to be a doctor in terms of getting your hands dirty, doing the things you want to do in medical practice, but you're also learning about professionalism and what it is to be a doctor. And then on top of all of that, you're being a student and you are trying to balance all the things that were in your life before you became a medical student. And so the trick is, I think, all about self-care. So actually it's about working out what your priorities are, but making sure that in those priorities you keep things like looking after yourself, getting enough sleep, eating well, getting some exercise. And if you can get those bits right, then the rest of it should stay in balance too. I think a really important thing is for students to begin to understand what their workload is like at the beginning and then come up with a manageable way of doing it. And they can often do that in consultation with peer support mechanisms in their school or with academic advisors. Medicine is a marathon, not a sprint. Um, and that is for the whole of your career because it's a, it's a career with lifelong learning. So students need to understand that. Many, many students do. I did myself, I worked behind the bar for a year when I was a, a medical student. So I think many students do work uh, and manage to, to balance the two things out. But there's no doubt that in the world that we now live in, uh, where so many students have to work, it can become a real challenge. And there's, there's definitely growing concern around this for some students who need to work in order to pay their fees, pay their living expenses, where their loans are definitely not sufficient to cover. And again, I think the thing to do here is that medical schools will want to both understand that and if they can in any way help or make allowances or support students, they will want to do that. The best place to learn more about medical student life is probably um, from medical students. It's easy these days with the internet and everything. Um, there are plenty of blogs run by current medical students keeping people up to date. There are lots of medical students on Twitter who um, share both the good bits and the bad bits. Medical school web pages themselves will often give you more information about the current student experience. I would say for applicants in general, if they want to learn more about the universities they're interested in, they should really make sure that they attend an open day or, some, or look at the resources that are available from the universities they're interested in. Often during those open days, there will be student ambassadors present or student representatives. So that's really one good way. Other good ways are sort of student voice forums, so things like the student elements of the British Medical Association, they'll have resources for students as well.